Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Dark Jack, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Warden Key, how to use the gondola, how to get the electric cherry perk, and how to access the showers from the second area. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is the Warden Key. So there are two possible places it could be. It could be near the beginning of this area or near the end, where you go down the stairs to where Juggernaut is. So what you want to do is you want to electrify yourself so you can go into afterlife mode. And I see that the Warden Key is right there, so you want to run and jump up onto this ledge and then shock that computer. And then after you've done that, you can go back down and revive yourself. And then by shocking that computer, you have now lowered the key, so you can turn around and there it is right there. And if the key is not right there, it's over there where the first one is. Now this is where the gondola is, and this is where Juggernaut is, and then you, you have to unlock it by going into afterlife mode. And then you can ride it for 750, and it takes you all the way up to the very top floor of the building. And he uses us to fast travel between the bottom docks and the top floor. And above me is where the roof is, and the roof is where the plane is that you ride out. You have to get all the uh, parts first. And then after that, you can uh, buy a pack punch after you've done the Easter egg. So you electrocute yourself, then you go over to where Electric Cherry is, and you turn it on, and that allows you to then buy the perk, just like with Juggernaut. And the Electric Cherry perk in this game makes it so that every time you reload, you have an electric shock effect that surrounds your body and it damages the zombies. And then when you go down, that kills all the zombies that are around you. And so personally, I don't think that this perk is very useful. You can see it right here, I reload, and it shocks all the enemies around me. So it might be useful for low rounds, but for high rounds I think it's pretty pointless. You might have to use it in order to do the easter egg though, though I'm not sure yet. And the last part that I'm going to show you is how to access the showers from the first part of the map. And the showers have parts that you need to do the easter egg. So right here you want to go through this hole of the wall, and then this is a platforming section where you have to jump up on top of these uh, barricades and pipes. And you want to look up here and run and jump. And then there's one last section where you have to jump. And then you turn that, turn the power on right there. And that's going to open a door that allows you to go downstairs. And you can also use it as a shortcut to go to Juggernaut. So now I'm going to run back and you have to be quick about it or else you'll die. You have to revive yourself before the time runs out. So now that I'm revived I can now go downstairs here. And this is where the showers are. And this is also where you get the clothes for the prisoners. That's one of the parts for the airplane right there after you've, you have the warden key. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.